I vow to express my gratitude for the great compassion that embraced me continuously until my body turns to dust. I vow to express my appreciation for the wonderful lessons of my Dharma teachers until my bodily form is shattered. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Uh, if it, I ask you to bow, I mean, a little bit here, the altar. This is not because there is a tradition. We have respect for this, these teachings. It's something can come to you and you can bow right, on your heart. But if I ask you bow to Marcus, it may be it's a little bit hard. Right? But this is the moment I want you to to me, eh? because I want your attention, I want to be at the center of your attention, but this is my ego working. Eh? I want to share some passages eh, of my dad, my mom, uh, sometimes I, I talk with them and they give me a lot of inspiration eh? in their life, they were minister for a long time, and uh, my dad, when he was in his 50 to 60, he got diabetes. Eh? But after that, he walks every day, eh? whether if it's raining or sunny. Eh? Today he is nine, four years old. And every morning, for more than 35 years, eh, he walks. This is when negative happenings eh, became a positive conduct in his life. Right? This is my dad. But right, this 35 years, every morning he goes walking, and my mom goes to pick it up him right, and in the middle of his curse because at his age he can fall down. A few days ago, my mom awoke and thought, Oh, how oh, my life would be easier if I didn't need to go to pick him up. But when she met him and she started to clean about his leg speed, oh, and how né, né, much easier would be né, if it, you can walk faster. Né? And if I didn't need to go to pick it up, it was very better my life. Né? But when né, she started to claim and my dad only asked, oh, sorry, man, né? sorry, man. Né? This is I cannot do, this is I try my best. Né? And then, oh, my mom shake her hands and she was, oh, sorry, that all I was egoist, né? all I say. And, uh, and she started to cry, and, uh, yeah, and uh, she said, oh, I'm not moving for him, yeah? I'm moving for me, yeah? he makes me move, and yeah? this is a good thing I'm receiving from his experience. And, uh, yeah? and uh, then, first time maybe, and here, I, my mom said, I have to be grave because if my dad cannot walk, my, my life will become the hell, really hell. <laughs> yeah, but in this case, we are, yeah, we have a lot of moments of our life when suddenly we have the heaven and a few minutes ago you go to the hell. Yeah. Like if you approve me, I feel in the heaven, but if you don't like me, I don't like you, I go to the hell. This is our feeling. Eh? And it was a feeling moving every time, every word, eh? this is with you. Eh? And this kind of feelings, every moment, we have the hell and the heaven inside of us. My feelings 
change constantly, going to the hell, to heaven, and vice versa. As a human, the existence of this turmoil, turmoil né, makes me unstable, unstable, sentient being. I cannot escape né, from my worldly passions, from the angel or from the demons. Né? This is me. I want only good winds blowing my life, but this selective mind doesn't make me really happy. Since I encounter these teachings, né, it leads me to rethink how ignorant and full I am. Encountering your real self, né, your true self, you have to include in your life hard happenings, né, and this very not only positive things, but harder moments in your life. Sadness, imperfections, yourself, your real self as you are, yeah. foolish, egotistical being, all without pretending nothing, yeah. anything. But don't worry, yeah. you have these beautiful teachings in our background, yeah. call it Buddhism. Uh, if you can follow it, yeah. you can through every time. It show you our own ignorance and not our egotistical face, imperfection. But like a son, this teaching doesn't ask if you are right or if you are wrong, evil or good. Only like, like the sun every day, uniformly, without discrimination for all. Let me share one beautiful poem written by I think Sensei Nobuyuki Yamamoto, né? the theme is translated from Japanese, but I'm not sure. But my translation is Brazilian English, né? so sorry, but I don't know if it's correct. But the theme is Namu Amidabutsu, Beautiful Sun. Doesn't matter if you are right or wrong, evil or good, for all of us, the sunshine comes. It doesn't care about our tiny human's problems. Nothing is problems to the sun. Everybody is free by using is it, it as they want. Today's sunshine is did it abandon to us. It opened it for all of us. How can we let this beautiful light go away? This is a poem written by Sensei Yamamoto. The light is like a Buddha né? illuminating our darkness without discrimination for all of us. But only those who can bow, bow humbly, be humble and receive that light can read the pure land. I wash my clothes in the morning, I put it in the sunshine, in silence, né? it's dry then. This is for the plants, for the all, this light is present. The eyes to see the light, né? and we, can, we cannot perceive, but this is, to see this, we can say, okage sama. Né? Okage sama is a shadow, shadow, we cannot see, but follow us every time. Né? Uh, if you can see, perceive this light, this okage sama in your background, né? I can put this a parallel like a shinji. Né? Shinji is the key to reborn in pure land. Né? Pure land is right here now. Né? Pure land is the place where né? here now that transform our limited vision of life, our hell, into the heaven in your daily life. You become one, né? like my dad, my mom, they become one. It's the condition. To become one, you have to become one with the others, né? with the nature, with all you can see, you cannot see. Of course, I, I ask you, né? you and me, to become one. Né? But sometimes our egos is so strong, 
you cannot be one, become one. But eh, when you really appreciate the means of your life, eh, you can become one, you can respect, you can bow. Eh? But bow is not you eh, decide. Bow, bow comes from you really respect. Eh? Like we come from Amida Buddha, and you bow. Eh? This is respect, this is tradition. Eh? But you, I ask you, bow to Mark, maybe it's more hard. Eh? But bow eh, means you really, really have to open your heart to become one. Eh? Yes. You and I can become one. This is eh? when you become one, eh? your happiness is my happiness. Thanks so much.